Hi there, Cloak Fiend here yet again. Today I'm going to be showing you how I prepare a multi-part model straight off the build plate and uh, get it ready for gluing together basically. So removing any weird stuff or if you've been printing with re without retraction then you're going to have a load of mess. So I've got this uh, British Bulldog that I modelled so I'm going to be showing you how I get it ready. Alright, you're going to need a scalpel and some sandpaper for this per first part. Okay, so first up, I'm going to take my scalpel and I'm going to try and take this off or I'll try and get as much off as I can with my fingernail and then um, I'm going to take the rest off with the scalpel. After that, I'm just going to try and take off these little weird bits with my fingernail and then all the bits I can't take and then whatever, you've got these little residual bits left after, I'm just going to go over it with like really loosely just to smooth it out with um, what we got here 320 I might hit 20, 240 sandpaper as well so I'm gonna just zoom the camera out and you can watch me doing that in, in a kind of time lapse basically so all of this stuff you know just take it off with your fingernail or with a scalpel kind of scraping it like that and then I'm just going to run it with sandpaper just to ensure I have this area flat. So I'm going to do that on time lapse so you can watch me do it if you want. Make sure the surface that you're trying to sand the flat bits down is flat itself, otherwise you're not going to get a flat um, area to when you stick them all together basically, which is we're going for something like this. So we're, we're trying to get all the pieces to stick as tightly together as we can and we just want to make sure that all the lines are, are perfect for the gluing process. Now if you think, if you noticed your model has warped slightly at the edges, don't worry too much about that. We're going to be putting um, filler in the sides and getting it all perfect afterwards. So just concentrate on getting the surfaces flat for gluing everything together first. Some people put in um, pegs to make sure they're in the right places, but I'm a bit impatient and I just want to print my model as soon as I've sculpted it. So I just slice it into kind of manageable areas to print and just glue it together with a glue that takes about five minutes to set. So it gives me perfect time to kind of manage the parts together, kind of angling them, but I'll cover that in a minute. So just I'll just get these bits ready for gluing. Oh right, sorry. All right, we've got our bits. Now it's time to stick them together and see how it all looks. So now what you're gonna need are some rubber bands to kind of hold your pieces in place. I'm using Evo Stick Rapid. It's like a five minute rapid uh, <coughs> resin uh, toothpick to mix the two resins together and just like a bit of a bit of card to put the glue on. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and um, <coughs> we'll show you how to do it. So these, try and get yourself a 50-50 one because it just makes life a lot easier than doing like maybe a third of this and two thirds of that. So these are just 50-50 each and, um, and usually this one came off first time. Normally it's quite blocked. <coughs> so this is the hardener doesn't make any difference in what order you put them but in fact <coughs> because I'm going to be, hold on I'll explain something because I'm going to be gluing these together I'm going to want to fill them with filler so w before I glue them I might put holes in each section just so that when I glue them together I'll only need to inject say one 
one uh, area with a hole so that I can essentially just fill it full of liquid and the liquid will self-fill throughout the entire model rather than me having to drill multiple holes in each section just to put my filler in. So once the model's like this, something like that, um, I would like to just drill one hole in the top of the head or the back or the highest area like that and then just inject filler so it will fill the whole model up and I'll only have a tiny hole to cover rather than filling, drilling a hole in each section because they're obviously closed off. All right, so that's the holes done. I'm covered in plastic. I'm doing this in my house. I really, I really should be in a garage or something. I think I've got bits in my eye. I was on my goggles. All right, so. All right, so there are my pieces now. I'm just gonna I might sand them down again just to get them flat and then we'll do the gluing. All right, so I just brought my uh, flat um, pad and then I'll just... You can scar it with a scalpel if you want, hold on. So you can just get off those bits off the edge. Alright, I think that should be fine. I'll just get all this out of the way now. <laughs> 